Hello everyone, welcome back to Carl Fixes. This is going to be my top Octopus Agile tips. And we're going to get straight into it with tip number one would be to download an app that shows you the price per 30 minutes in graph form like this so you can see what is going on and it will also give you a comparison to another tariff like Octopus Tracker to see if you are saving money on Agile. So this is Octopus Compare on my Android device. I don't know if it's available on iOS, but there will be other apps available that are similar on there. And as you can see, it gives you a graph of every half hour slot on Agile and the peak times in color. So obviously red is high, orange is high-ish, yellow is average, and then green is low and blue is negative. Obviously, there's no green and blue today. It's not a great day for Agile. It's all 20p and above. But this app um, really is a great app to monitor what is going on in the day and where you are. So 20p as of now, you can scroll through it and you can get to the time in the day in the Agile peak between 4 and 7 and see what's coming so you can plan ahead for those peak times which is key to agile is covering these peak times with either load shifting so you're not doing anything in those hours or making sure your battery is charged to cover those hours and we'll get into that shortly but i just quickly want to show you around this app a little bit more so you can go to the comparison and I have it set up for obviously Octopus Agile, which is the tariff I'm on, versus Octopus Tracker. The tab down at the bottom here will show you, if you flick across, what you've saved in comparison. So this is what I've saved on Agile. And this is the tracker. So over the last week, save £3.49 and you can do a month. Shows you every half hour increment where you were up or down on the tariff you've chosen to compare against. So if we skip across again for the month, it's not the easiest thing to do on mobile here. So I've saved £19.16 over the last month by being on Agile over the tracker. I've paid an average 17p per kilowatt compared to 21 on the tracker, saving £19 total. So it's a really handy app. You can go all the way up to a year and there is some other features, but you've got to pay for the app for that. This is a totally free app. Um, so yeah, I would 100% advise getting an app like this and even and if you can, have it on display somewhere constantly. In my kitchen, I have an old mobile phone that is constantly plugged in displaying this graph so everybody in the house can see at what particular time of the day, what price electricity is and choose to make better decisions based on what time it is and how expensive the electricity is at that moment in time. So that is tip one. Learn about the tariff, learn about the half hour increments, how it works and load shifting. Number two is charge your battery at the lowest time of the day, if possible. Over the last couple of months, probably September and October, there hasn't been on Agile loads and loads of super low under 10p uh, per kilowatt hour hours to do charging. So you've had to be a bit more clever about charging. One thing about Agile is it doesn't guarantee you the 6, 7, 8p rates overnight that say maybe um, IOC or um, the heat pump EV um, tariffs will give you. The industry or uh, uh, especially Octopus seem to have moved away from if you've just got solar and battery being able to get on a tariff that guarantees you a 7, 8p overnight rate. Those seem to be saved now for people with heat pumps and EVs. Um, so you've got to be a bit more clever about when you use the Agile. But my top tip would be, if you see it under 10p, charge your battery 100%. Force charge your battery. But don't be afraid in months like we've had in October, where the average price is 
17, 18, 19p to charge at 12, 13, 14p. Because even at those rates, you're still saving compared to the higher charge throughout the day. And I would even go further than that. So this is my tip number three, which I don't hear anybody talking about on Agile. And it especially is um, applicable to people like myself with a small array. So if you've got a five kilowatt array, maybe up to 10 kilowatt hour battery that won't last you all day if you charge it to full overnight and there's no sun to top it up, it won't last you all day. Don't be afraid to charge the battery at 18, 19, 20 pence in the daytime. So if you are not going to have enough battery to cover this period here from four till say eight o'clock, when the price skyrockets, especially between four and seven, charge your battery in an afternoon between say one and four, when the price is 18, 19, 20p, because what would you rather do? Force charge your battery at 20p or not charge it and pay 40, 50p. I think there's a stigma in the solar charging, battery charging industry that I see because I'm in quite a lot of Facebook groups and watch other videos and things that we have it in a mindset that we must only charge under 10 pence. But if you're charging at a rate less than the rate you're using, it's still applicable. So if your battery, for example, you know for a fact that you're on a high usage day or your battery will not last till four, charge here at 1920p to make sure you're covering this period of time. So you're not going in and cooking and things like that at 50, 60p rate on Agile. Hopefully in the winter months to come, these rates will drop and we'll see more negative and lower prices as the weather gets worse and the wind gets up. I think September, October have been semi-steady weather in England where it's been cloudy and not particularly windy. And most of our electricity is generated by wind in the UK. So if there is no wind and obviously it's later in the year, there's not a lot of sun, the prices on Agile are more expensive. So as the year goes on, we should see the prices creep down a little bit with the increased wind that we will see over the winter months. But those are my three tips for Agile. One, monitor. Two, charge when the prices are very cheap. And three, don't be scared to charge when the prices are higher if you haven't got the battery to cover the highest periods. Please let me know in the comments. Give me any more tips that you've got about using Octopus Agile down there in the comment. I will have a referral code if anybody wants to move to Octopus or Octopus Agile in the description. You'll get 50 quid. I'll get 50 quid. So it's a great deal if you want to use it. Please click the link and use that if you want and like and subscribe. It would do me huge favors. You can keep up with my journey on solar. Um, and how it's going. Thank you very much and goodbye.